May I have the, um, I think it's the acai, acai lemonade drink. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. you too. Thank you. So guys, I just came from Starbucks and I want to let you guys know that they are hiring right there. You see them? They are hiring and um, the job position that I'm going to share is not an in-store job. It's actually a remote job. You just took my spot. That is hilarious. I went to Starbucks because as I was thinking about Starbucks and looking at their jobs, I got thirsty, okay? So we got ourselves a strawberry acai lemonade drink. And um, yeah, so they are hiring. I'm going to be sharing this job for Starbucks. It's an evening job. So those of you who are night owls looking for a work from home job, this is a great remote work job that you can do at night. In addition to the Starbucks job, I'm also going to be sharing a few more night jobs. So those of you who've been asking for night jobs, um, things that you can do at night to work at home, this video is going to be power packed with all of that and okay and we're going to talk about how you can effectively customize your resume companies are not reading resumes like they used to now they're using a software that's pretty much sifting through looking for keywords qualifications um certain things in place so i'm going to share exactly how you can do that by using an effective method that a lot of people are not talking about but i found it to be very useful we're going to break it all down. Of course, we have a free downloadable down below, but in this video, we're going to break down a lot of these job opportunities, uh, make it understandable, make it attainable, make it so that you can understand what in the world they're talking about and the fact that you can qualify for these positions. All right. So I feel super cute today. Um, I'm going to drink this and then we're going to go home and talk more about these opportunities with you guys. Stay tuned. But first, do you not have the experience, but you need the experience in order to qualify for the jobs that require experience and you don't know where to get started? I understand and I myself am a part of an online university called Course Careers. They're basically way more affordable than college and they give you the practical tools and experience needed in order to qualify for some of these high level tech companies that are paying six figures and you don't need experience in order to get started at all. This is going to help build your resume past the old random jobs. This is going to give you the qualifications and skills that you need in order to look great before these companies and the best part about it is that this is the type of school that you don't need to be sitting in a classroom for hours on end you could do it at your own pace me as a mother I simply don't have the time so I'm glad that I can get up pick up a few classes along the way um, do it while I'm able to while baby is sleeping or I have a little free time this has given me flexibility to build up my skills to own my career path and what I love about course careers is not only is it self-paced but you can do it on your own time so you can practice practically get done within a few weeks and as soon as you're done you will have access to a lot of these recruiters that are looking for entry-level candidates in order to get started working for some of these top level tech companies so if you're interested i'm going to have the links down below where you can not only get a discount code but access to your first free introductory course all to get you started on your new career path so if you're interested in changing career paths and you're not happy doing what you're doing right now but you need something to help you push into the right direction down there in the description box is going to give you all the tools that you need in order to make up your mind right now all right so anyway let's get into the jobs that i have for you guys today um there's so many and we just need to get started like now like let's go <laughs> Okay, so let's get started talking about this job here that I believe is a no interview role. I will correct you if I'm wrong down below, but this one here is a no phones role opportunity. It is going to be 100% remote and it is chat based. So this is with a company called Drips and I featured them in my previous video, but today they're also looking for a customer experience chat room operator. And so for this job here, you are going to be the customer experience chat room operator and you'll be chatting with customers responding to their questions and concerns 
from an online chat system using pre-written replies. So you're not required to come up with these fancy answers and they're giving you the template and you just kind of reconfigure it. You're writing custom responses when there isn't a pre-written one available and you're making sure that you're doing it all with great speed, um, aiming for at least 30 seconds or less, ultimately helping to improve the automated system by documenting the common questions and refining the pre-written responses as well. So this position is really exciting. Great for those of you who want to work at night because this one here is a full-time role and the staff is available 24-7. They're seeking candidates for all different time slots, including the night hours. So if you're here for the night jobs, which most likely you are, you're going to find that position open. And if by any chance you are flexible to a different shift, they more than likely have that available as well. I would definitely reach out to them directly asking for that information. All right. So as we scroll down, we're going to take a look at their requirements. So if you have experience in a customer service chat room environment, this is definitely going to work wonders for you, especially if you've got any experience with writing responses and you've got um, exceptional attention to detail and great typing skills as well as grammar and spelling is, you know, because you are typing. So that written communication skill must be strong. And I would even apply to this job, even if I didn't have a formal chat room environment experience, if you have great written and verbal communication skills, that's going to work very well for you. And I would definitely um, still go ahead and apply. So the great part about this is all you need to do is have your high school diploma or your GED in hand. You don't need any type of college degree. It is a plus, but certainly not required for this position here. And they mentioned their core values, which is great to take a look at because when you're working for a company, you want to make sure that it their values align with yours. You want to make sure that you are fully behind the company mission. And this is a great area to kind of prepare yourself for the interview process as they are asking you questions. You want to make sure that you exude these, these different qualities and set yourself up to look like the winning candidate. Just take a look at that. This is going to be a great opportunity for those of you who are interested. It will be down below in my description box. Okay, so surprise, surprise, instead of waiting to the last part of the video, we're going to talk about the Starbucks job right here and right now. Of course, we have many more night jobs to come in this video, but I wanted to share this one with you because this one here is time sensitive and it's also a great um, opportunity for those of you who are looking for more of an overnight setup. This one is for the sh third shift, which is approximately from 11 p.m. to 7 a.m. Um, the times may vary, but that's basically the general idea of the hours you will be working. And this is a great paying position up to $207,300, which is approximately $100 per hour. So this one is going to be in the area of technology. And this systems analyst lead is going to be for the Starbucks digital display platform. And your main role is basically to support and manage the installation of new technologies and hardware in Starbucks stores across the US and Canada. Of course, this is all remote. You are not needed in those specific locations. You're working from home. So in this job, you're making sure that Starbucks stores are equipped with the latest technology and maintaining a seamless and efficient customer experience. You're making sure everything is running smoothly from the planning and setting up new systems to fixing issues that may rise up every now and then. And you're working remotely, of course, during the night shift. So you might be wondering, well, what does this all mean? What in the world? This is a long list of responsibilities responsibilities, but I'm here to help you understand it clearly and in a simple language. So you'll be doing retail technology installation support. So basically you are going to be making sure that new retail technology meets the requirements and is correctly installed in the stores. You're helping to integrate that 
technology um, into existing Starbucks stores, working closely with the teams to identify any type of issues that might, ri might rise up and helping to um, pro provide resolutions to those issues. Configuration and installation, what does that mean? So you're basically overseeing the setup and the configuration of the new technology hardware in these stores. You're developing and refining the processes for this hardware testing and making sure everything works as it is expected to. And you're also creating as well as maintaining uh, detailed documentation for installation and configuration as well. And also another area I want to touch on is product support. So you're basically providing training to new team members and diagnosing as well as resolving any type of issues with the technology, coordinating with the vendors and other teams, and basically keeping everyone updated on the status and resolution of these issues. All right, so as far as the qualifications are concerned, they only want a minimum of five years experience in a retail technology support analyst role with at least one of those years in an IT or software development setting. This is a specific job opportunity, but for those of you who are interested and have a little bit of retail background and working with technology, this is going to do really well for you. So it's only preferred, not required if you have previous field service technician installation experience. Don't worry if you don't have that experience. It's only a preference, not required at all. And this job is going to give you so many great benefits, including 100% tuition coverage through their Starbucks college achievement plan. This is excellent for those of you students out there. This is going to help you get through school without having to pay large exorbitant amounts of money just to get through. All right, so let's get into the third opportunity, and that one is going to be for the New York Post. The New York Post is basically a publication that provides news, sports, pop culture, and entertainment with over 90 million viewers each month. They've been running over 200 years, and they are now a multi-platform media company for everything from print digital, video, all the way to television and commerce. So this position is going to be for the producer, video editor, and this is going to be four days each week, Friday through Monday, 12 p.m. to 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So you will be working night hours remotely, and they are open to West Coast candidates. So that sounds like you Californians out there who are constantly not finding great positions um, to work from home. This one sounds like they are willing to accept those of you on the West Coast, including California. Okay, so basically this position here, you are quickly producing and managing videos to basically enhance the New York Post's news story. So in simple terms, you are making videos. So you're creating up to 30 short videos per day about trending news stories. So this will include you researching, writing scripts, and editing these videos. I know that sounds like a lot, but... These are short videos, and for those of you out there that already have some familiarity with YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, uh, Snapchat, even Twitter, you're going to find this to be something that is doable. And a quick tip is that AI platforms like ChatGPT will give you ideas on these 30 short video ideas to really help you streamline the process and make things so much easier. So this role also includes you working with articles. You're going to be adding those videos to news articles on the website using specific tools. You're looking at these articles, monitoring the content, finding or creating videos that match the stories, and working with your team, tracking the video library using content from wire services and social media, as well as clearing rights for videos found online. And you are also doing the fun work like creating titles, thumbnails, and playlists. So take for example, a major news event has happened or a political announcement or some natural disaster occurs. 
you in this role, you're quickly going to gather that information, write a script and edit a short video summarizing the event. You're adding the video to a related article on that website using their JW player and WordPress, and you're sending it to social media teams for distribution. So that's just a quick scenario of what that might look like with you creating a breaking news video. So in order to qualify, they only want you to have at least three years of experience working in a fast paced online news environment. If you don't have um, formal online news experience, but you've got some experience working in a fast paced environment, this could work for you as well. So as we scroll down, we're going to see the pay. They're going to pay you up to $80,000 per year. This is all based on different things like your um, skills, your knowledge and so forth. And when you are applying, you're going to submit a cover letter with the following. So they want you to follow these directions. This is going to show them that you are able to take directions and more than likely they will pay attention to your um, submission over those that didn't. So you're providing your point of view of what makes a video shareable. And you're also going to share two ideas for quick videos based on the news of this week. So you're going to look at their website, check out the news that has been trending on their website, and you're going to find two ideas for a few quick videos to summarize the, that particular news of the week. And they're basically giving you the blueprint right here. If you want to impress them, submit that particular information. So that's a great way to stand out. And this is all going to be down below in my description box. They're giving you so many different benefits, by the way. So you can check that out as well. Another night job. This one here is actually an overnight job. This is for after hours um, with this company called Flight Center Travel Group. And they're basically a travel management company handling businesses in over 97 countries. They're headquartered in so many different places like London, New York, Singapore, and they basically help provide clients with a great experience when booking um, things like flights, hotel stays, um, car services, and so forth. So you will be the corporate travel consultation consultant or the co corporate travel consultant. And this is going to be virtual all throughout the U.S. You are not working over the phone. You're not talking over the phone. This is a no phones opportunity here. You are going to be helping to um, book flights, hotels, transportation during late hours, weekends, and holidays. So you do need flexibility when you are approaching this job opportunity. And you're going to be assisting the clients with urgent travel changes or issues that arise unexpectedly. And in doing so, you're not on the phone. You're using their um, Sabre GDS. I'm sorry if I, <laughs> if I just pronounced that wrong, but you're using the global distribution system to manage bookings and reservations. So this particular Sabre GDS platform is all computerized. You are doing this online. This is an online booking database that contains information about different travel, travel options and allows for travel professionals to search, compare and book different travel arrangements. So this is all online and basically it is a one stop shop for all things travel. So you are doing everything on there. You'll be able to access real time availability prices and booking options for different airline and travel providers. So you have first class access to the back end. You're going to be helping these clients very well with this particular software. And so yeah, you are providing information informing these clients about necessary travel documents and health requirements for their trips. You're also handling ticket changes and rerouting as well as managing any type of international fares, regularly communicating with your team members and keeping the managers informed about travel issues or client needs. So basically you're helping clients have a smooth and efficient travel experience outside regular business hours and you're addressing these needs very quickly and professionally. 
In order to qualify, they're asking for a minimum of four years experience in corporate travel management, understanding the unique needs and challenges of business travelers. So if you've got that corporate level experience, this is great, but you can also approach this role here if you don't have that formal corporate experience, if you've got travel management experience period, if you've got excellent Sabre knowledge and capabilities, you can definitely set yourself up well on your resume to share your professional experience, your professional skills that will more than likely trump the fact that you don't come from a corporate level experience background, but you've got that hands-on experience. This is going to work well for you. If you need any help with your resume, I do have resume writing services that I always link down below in the description box. All right, so of course, these are all other things that they're looking for. They want someone with multitasking capabilities, great customer service, great for those of you coming from a background in customer service. And they have so many different perks here, guys. So much, too much to read here. Tuition reimbursement for those of you students out there. They're gonna help you get through school. All right, so the pay is actually... All the way listed down below so for this position you're going to be paid $28.85 per hour and you get the ability to earn um, commission so they're based on achievable targets and their target earnings range between 60 to seventy thousand dollars per year so the annual range basically represents the total compensation package excluding benefits so this is great you're going to be paid very well for your work, for booking these flights, hotel stays. This is a great opportunity. And if you have any type of disabilities, they do have an email down below that you can access their recruitment team to get that help that you require during the hiring and onboarding process. Okay, so last but not least, we have one more night job. So this is a college. And this one here is for the variable hours officer. This is a temporary role. However, it could lead to something more permanent. It's also not going to require any experience at all if you do have a degree, but let's get into this. So this is a part-time position opened actually in the beginning of the year, but they have previously up re-uploaded this particular listing. So they are reopening the ability to submit your application for this position. And like I mentioned, it's temporary. You're working five hours a week. The salary is going to be all the way up to $32.14 per hour. So this position here is all about you supporting important medical research by making sure that studies are conducted accurately and safely with a focus on critical care neurology. So the job is going to involve you helping with research. So you are assisting with this research. So say, for example, they have a new clinical trial that they're starting up to test um, medication for stroke patients. So the officer in this position is going to help set up the study, prepare necessary documentation, and make sure that all materials are ready for use according to the study protocol. So this is a heavy role. However, it's not something that requires any experience because they are going to provide you with experience. If you've got a bachelor's degree, you don't need experience. It's only preferred, not required if you've got that background as well. So this is going to be down below in my description box. Great opportunity, especially if you want to get into the healthcare industry. This is a temporary role that is actually going to give you all that it takes in order to qualify for even better roles and also to improve your resume with great skills as well. Okay, so let's quickly talk about the Starbucks job and how you can effectively tailor your resume to the Starbucks job. I want to talk about a method that is very effective and a lot of people kind of bypass it. So this is called the STAR method. This is going to help you build your work experience, your entire resume, and also give you clues as to how you can answer certain questions during the interview process. But we're going to talk more so about the work experience in your resume. So the STAR method is basically a structured way that you can describe your professional experiences on your resume. So STAR basically stands for situation, which is you describing the context within the performed task or challenge that you faced previously. 
task is going to explain the challenge that was involved. Action is going to describe the actions that you took to address that certain task or challenge. And result is going to share the outcomes or the results of your actions. And that's basically going to be your work experience line that's strong and effective. All right. So why do we use the STAR method? A lot of people bypass it because it requires just a little bit more thinking, but this is going to be so effective. It's going to show high high impact, high efficiency, and really highlight your skills. It's going to provide a clear, concise framework for presenting your experiences, focusing on key accomplishments, and highlighting your results and impact. So for example, let's take on um, the Starbucks job, how they mentioned that retail technology installation support is very important to the role. So when we consider the STAR method, we're going to think about our previous roles. Think about a situation. The beginning of the STAR method is situation. So think about what you did in your previous job where you needed to, say, upgrade the technology in different stores if that applies to you. Think about that situation and then think about the task, what you were responsible for doing. So for example, this could be you saying, I was responsible for coordinating the installation process and making sure that all project requirements were met. Okay, so now let's take it a step further and talk about the action. So you can say, well, I value SOW requirements, as they mentioned in the Starbucks uh, job listing, I validated these requirements and supervised the installation team and collaborated with key stakeholders to resolve any issues. So when you take into consideration the situation, task, and action, you can then combine that into a strong work experience line. That being, for example, successfully upgraded technology in over, say, 50 stores, improving efficiency by... 20% and reducing downtime by 15%. This is going to wow the person reading it. It's going to show high efficiency. It's going to show that you are more than qualified for the role because it tells how many stores you manage, not just that you have upgraded technology, but it also shows how many stores you've you know impacted and what you're capable of doing, how you're able to improve efficiency, which brings money into the company and how you reduce downtime, which also saves them money. So any company is going to hire someone who will help them bring in money and save money. And this line is going to show them right there. And then it's also bringing in some numbers because of the fact that numbers attract the eye. It's psychologically tested and proved that numbers attract the eye. So when you put in numbers and quantify your achievements, it's giving the reader helpful takeaways to understand what it is that you are capable of doing. All right, so one more example I want to talk about is where they mention production support. So you can take the STAR method, sit down and think about something that you've done in the past. What was the situation? So you can say, well, our team needed a better process for handling tech issues during the new technology rollout. And then the task that you were responsible for. Okay, I was responsible for developing a training program and documenting procedures. The action that was required of you, say you created training materials, documenting processes, you know, clear communication establishment and so forth. So once you take into consideration the situation, task, and action, you're able to merge that together to become the result being you reduced issue resolution time by X percent and increased satisfaction ratings from store managers by X percent. This is strong. It's showing that you're able to improve the processes by reducing issues and increasing efficiency. And you also throw in the fact that store managers are backing you up because you have helped them by X percent. All right, how exciting is that? I'm gonna have the entire breakdown of the STAR method in the description box down below in our cheat sheet of the day. This is gonna help you to do your own resume. You don't need to scratch your head or even to ask 
for resume writing services for myself. I'm doing this here for free so that you can have what it takes to do it yourself as you are applying to this job. And you can even use the STAR method for future job opportunities. So save this downloadable because this is going to help you build your resume for the other jobs that you will be applying to as well. Okay, guys, so that pretty much wraps it all up. Those are the bunch of night jobs that I had here for you guys. Please let me know which ones appeal to you most and what kind of jobs you're looking for so that I can be sure to search for those while I'm looking for material for the next video. All right. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to sign up for your first free class down below with course careers to get you started in a high paying career. Be sure to subscribe and I will see you in the next one.